Hello everybody, it's your friend Kattosherby here, bringing you a new Let's Play. This Let's Play is going to be none of these games, not Super Metroid, but Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. One of my favorite games back in the 90s, even though I was born in 99. I played this the first time when I was... Four years old, when back when I had my Super or my yeah my Super Nintendo, but and then I finally was able to get it on my Wii. What was it? Four years ago. So I've not done any practice in this game ever since like 2013. So forgive me if I look a little rusty here at the beginning, but I just need some time to get used to the game. So here we have the opening cutscene, where Peach is going to be kidnapped once again. There, well, actually, no. There's a few games where she doesn't get kidnapped, like Super Mario Bros. 2, even though that was all a dream, and then you know, Super Princess Peach. Although I never did play that game, and I never want to. Because if you know me, I don't like Peach at all, mostly just because of Mario Party, but. Anyway, here we have the opening cutscene where Mario is just going around the whole Mushroom Kingdom, fighting enemies, collecting star mounds. Kill everything! Hammer Bros! They're throwing hammers! Accidentally hit my mic right there, my bad. But yeah, actually, I need to talk to you because you guys are probably wondering what the hell happened to your voice? Finally got a mic. I got a Sennheiser USB headset, and I am very happy how it is working so far. Hell, you know, even my friend said um, I sounded completely different than what I used to back when I was using the uh, shit-ass computer mic that's built in. God, that thing was so annoying. But I finally have a headset now. Have a good headset and I like it so I'm gonna be rolling with this thing until it dies hopefully it does not end up like my friend Mr. Abe Maddox because he had the same headset and it literally stopped working within like two days so here we get with character introductions met we have Mallow and Gino and Mario but it's basically spoiler alerts to every single character we get in this game, but... It's Yoshi! Why couldn't Yoshi be a partner in this game? Oh, well. Oh, that is gonna be a pain in the ass to do. I can already tell. I always hated the minecart section. There's Bowser. King Bowser. My favorite villain of video game, of video game history. And my main in Smash 4. What the f- Birdo? Okay. Run, Mario! Avoid the enemies behind you and the barrels that DK may or may not be throwing. And this introduction is actually taking a while. I'm surprised how long it's taking. Now oh, it's Sky World. Whoa, oh, spoilers. Spoilers, man. Alright, I've had enough of this. That intro went on for way too long. It's... Damn it. Jesus, I cannot even spell my YouTube name. Well, I'm gonna have to overwrite one of those save blocks. Okay. Yeah, I know we're watching the same opening cutscene again, but we won't have to watch that pathetically long intro. Basically, we just see Bowser kidnapping Peach once again. 
and we hear a silent help. To Bowser's castle we go. <laughs> Mario's just like, I'm gonna kill Bowser, I'm coming, Peach. Alright, so, you want to move faster, or you hold down the Y button while moving, B buttons jump. By the way, I'm using the GameCube controller, so, I think it's actually different on, uh, get the, get the, alright, we have our, we have our first fight. Alright, in battle, X's are your items, which we don't have any, uh, your Y is your special moves, I'll cover those later. A is your regular attacks, and B is defense, or run away. And I kind of fucked that timing up, but I still killed them, so. And yeah, we're not going to get any experience from these enemies, so. And we have a required fight right here. With four of them. Lovely. Uh, I should have done some practice. There you go. There's a good... Damn it. It's kind of hard getting used to this game again with its dodging mechanics. So this could take a while to get used to. I might do I might do some little practicing off screen. There we go. There's a guard right there. If you can time your opponent's hits, they'll do less damage. So just to let you know that right now. Oh, that doesn't matter right there because he missed. All right, I'm gonna show off jump. Basically, when you're using a special, when you use the jump move, you want to try and press the Y button just right before you land on the enemy. And right here we have Potaboos. And then the bridge falls into the lava. Bowser, your castle is kind of unstable, man. Where is Bowser? Oh, there's Peach, right above us. There's Bowser. You can see the lower half of his body. Oh, there he is. And somehow Mario can jump about 50 feet in the air up to the chandeliers. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. Whoa, man, you're gonna kill us? Alright, basically for this fight, don't attack Bowser. Attack the chain that's right behind him. Although, if you want to make this fight go super quick, if I can press the right, the right buttons, just use the jump on King Link, or the chain behind him. And fight's over. I think that, cha I think that chain has like 60 HP. What was that sound? No, no! It's a chain reaction! Coming, Mario? Hammer time! Well, fight, don't kill yourself. Oh, look, another hammer. And uh, supposedly we got about a million feet up in the air during that fight. Waha! Do you think I was just gonna give her to you? You're always in my way. This is it. I'm gonna take you out. Nope. Foiled again. Curses! And then somehow jumping off Bowser's head propelled us a hundred feet in the air. Video game logic, everyone, at its finest. I'm gonna fall! It's a cloud with a star in it. Seven stars now, and a huge-ass sword. Right in the heart of Bowser's castle. And then we get our intro. And some pretty catchy music. Super Mario RPG. And those seven stars, as you can tell by the name of the game, are important to the plot. And the sword sends us all the way back to Mario's place. Right here at the pipe house.
And how convenient. Wait for it. We happen to land right in the pipe. And then Toe just happens to be out front. Hey Mario, lots of people use something called doors to go in and out of other houses now. No shit. You know, I wasn't just sent flying all the way from Bowser's castle. Alright, let's get the hell off of that. So this is Mario's place. He's got a green bed. I'm surprised it's not red, considering his colors. But you know, this is Luigi colors. And, but this is no longer the year of Luigi. That was back in 2013. Alright, Toad, what the hell do you want? Uh, I thought the princess was with you, Mario. Where is she? Silence. Hits Bowser again, isn't he? Here we go again. I mean, I kind of just tried to do that, Toad, but, um... You see... There's a huge-ass sword in Bowser's castle now. Okay. Shut up, let's go. Alright, forget something. Come with me and I'll show you. Before you start off, it's best to jump on these boxes and save as often as possible. In case of emergency, you can always start over from your last place you saved. Sir, you are somewhat breaking the fourth wall. I don't need to save right now. Anyway, let's go back to Bowser's Keep. Even though there's a huge sword in it. Now we get a view of this sword. Halt who goes there. The Smithy Gang. Uh-oh. So let's see you deal with this. I'm moving my mouth up and down into someone causing an earthquake on the castle. So basically, we can not we can no longer get the Bowser's keep. But, you know, the Smithy Gang is very interesting people. I personally want to meet them and beat their ass. Damn you, Toad. You couldn't just wait outside. Get out of my house. Back so soon. Did you forget something? No. What happened? Someone tell me how Mario's just standing in midair. Bristol Bowser's keep is now out. Wonderful. Must inform the Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Cam? No, I'm just kidding. Cam Chancellor's like one of very few people I liked on the Seahawks. As if anyone knows me... I'm a 49er fan, also a Bronco fan, and we got our ass beat in the Super Bowl back in la well, oh yeah, last year. Uh, I'm not saving right now. Damn it, Toad! Oops, excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head reduced your HP level. A famous Mushroom Kingdom's famous items out of parking right up. Mushrooms! You know how to use items? Of course I do, even though I haven't played this game in like two years. So well traveled and experience. Well, you also brought a Goomba with you. I came to worry the mushroom way is swarming with monsters and just me back here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Timed hits. Yes. He knows about timed hits. He's gonna punch your lights out. And that somehow caused the Goomba to go away, even though they supposedly don't have ears. And Toad is suffering a case of amnesia a little bit, but... You just told me that when we were in the house! You didn't have to come back and tell me! Um, alright, X is to pull the menu up, and as you can see, that bump did reduce our HP by 1. So let's use a mushroom and get perked right up. Alright, and... Let's go to Mushroom Way. <laughs> Alright. So, we're starting in... Well, it's actually, technically, it's not our first fight. This is like our fourth fight, but... First fight against Goombas. And died one hit. And now you're dead. And now... Uh, now we're gonna start be... We're gonna start getting experience points... For defeating enemies this time, and there's you can see Toad over there trapped, but I want to fight these enemies. Die! Damn, that did a lot. 
That was a lot more than the last 325s we've gotten. Ugh, damn it. Don't want my home lacking up now. Alright, let's keep going. Apparently guarding only makes them do two damage, but... That's the only thing I really need to work on is my guarding, just... Not getting my ass kicked every time. Hey look, new enemies. I want coins. Fuck you. First I want to kill this Goomba that's over here. Get over here. Oh, we got three Goombas now. Jesus, I'm already down to 10 HP. I'm gonna need to use a mushroom after this battle. Oh, never mind. Damn it. That actually does quite a bit of damage, but... Funny how I just say, oh, I'm gonna need to use a mushroom after this fight is when I get an HP max. Basically... There's a bunch of random eff random effects you can get for killing an enemy. You can get a luck... Ah, damn it. See, I don't remember all of them. I honestly don't remember all of them, but... I know it's like you can get HP maxes. I think you can get FP maxes. Um, You get a go again where you can basically just attack again. And something else. I, I just can't remember it. Anyway, those paratroopers just basically use your jump attack and um, they'll go down in one hit as opposed to using your regular attack where they will eat it up. And I'll actually show you in this fight because I'm actually not going to be able to jump on both of them. Okay, I was, oh, they're called Sky Troopers. My apologies. They see like 8 damage. Now, I did not guard that very well. Basically, use a jump or two of your regular physical attack. And we got a mushroom. Sweet. I'm actually going to need to use one right now. Some coins, Toad. You can wait. All right, let's go. Now I will be cutting out some battles. I'm not going to show every single battle. Oh look, HP max as soon as we use an item. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm not going to show every battle I get into. I'm going to cut some out. Just save some. Oh my god, I can't. Just to save some time right now. Well, not right now, but you know what I mean. Oh, honey syrup. Uh, and those will actually eventually return to Paper Mario. Actually, wait. Did Paper Mario come out before this game? I can't remember. Ambush! I don't know. I can't remember if Paper Mario came out before this game. I'll have to look that up. I have it downloaded on my Wii, so... I can literally just go back and check. And Mario leveled up to level 2. Now, they're... Wow, Mario had no defense. Um, damn it. Now, every time you level up, there's going to be one that gives you a big bonus. And in this case, it's your magic attack. But basically, power is how much damage you do. It would also increase your defense. HP obviously increases how much HP you have. And then your magic attack is basically how much your magic attack will do, like the jump attack. So as you can see here... The HP goes up three, the power and defense go up one, and the magic attack gives a th magic attack gives a, a three, while magic defense only one. Which means that the magic attack is the one we're gonna want. Because I think with HP it's like four or five. Um, yeah, I think it's f yeah, it's damn it, another fucking ambush. Yeah, I think it's um. 4 or 5 whenever it's the HP upgrade time. And now those Goombas are not going to be doing any damage because we have our we have defense now. So, hooray. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut out these two these two battles with the the Sky Troopa and this Goomba right here. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, we're done with those two battles. Now, let's hop on this thing which will spin us around and give us a big jump. Now go over here where we get a flower. That flower, I believe, 
yeah, it gives you an extra flower point. So as you can see now, we have 11, as opposed to the 10 we just had. And it still recovers 10 flower points. And I'm actually going to use that right now. And yeah, I took damage in those battles, and it was to that stupid freaking Goomba. Man, it's... Man, it's As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by getting ambushed once again by these damn Goombas. As you can see, those Goombas are doing 1 HP of damage now, which probably means they have like 3 attack. But, hey, you missed. Not bad. Alright, die. Alright, now let's go up there and save Toad again. Always gotta save you, Toad, don't we? Gone. Annihilated. Destroyed. Alright. Well, that was a close call. I just took my appreciation. We get a flower tab. Flower tabs will raise your flower point total by one. So now we have 12 flower points. Hooray! It's right here. Nope. Die. Okay, now that we're done with him, let's move on. Wait, I feel like there's a secret back here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Now, there will there is hidden chests in this game, but it will contain, like, coins and flowers and spinies. Okay, not spinies, but... We have new enemies of spinies. Or spikies. I don't know why they're changing the names, but whatever. Damn, that did a lot, actually. But they still die in one hit to Mario. And we get a honey syrup. Sorry. I fight you. Two of them. Hmm. Oh, you live. God damn it. Damn you and your needles. Alright, done with that fight. Can I fight? I want to fight you. I, I want to fight you. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to fight the lack of two. I feel like something happens if you kill all the spinies. Something might happen to me if I don't guard well. I might die in the first video. That'll be embarrassing. Yep, we're using a mushroom after this fight. Uh, what are we at? 24 minutes. Maybe he just has infinite spinies. Frankly, I don't care, but I do want to heal before this next fight. Because right here. It's the Hammer Brothers we saw in the opening trailer. Hey, are you looking at me with my hammer and I don't like you? I didn't know hammers had f emotions. Tito, this is why you never run ahead. I shouldn't have walked up to you. You got my hammer angry. All right, and then another one just came right out of nowhere. Anyways, here are the Hammer Brothers. Hammer Time. Wow, they actually have a move called Hammer Time. Holy hell, that did a lot. Well, you're dying first, bitch. Die. Basically, that's what's gonna happen every time you beat a boss. They'll just spit out. They'll just spit out a shit ton of coins. They were up. I believe that increases your defense. Which, if it does, that's not good. Yes, it does. And by quite a bit, too. As you can see, he's kind of eating my attacks up right now. He's eating them up and he's staying in four seconds. Uh, one more jump should do it. Yep. I think the Hammer Bros only have like 50 HP. So, if... Yeah, they're not that hard to deal with. And we get a flower jar for it. And 20 coins. 
Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast I wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, no shit. You've gotten caught three times. I had to save you all three times. Where did this hammer come from? Toad, I'm gonna pop you upside the head with that hammer if you don't shut up. Do you know what this is? It's a hammer. It has the hammer rose insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you womp them with this. You never know, it might come in handy. Picked up a hammer. Let's gonna move on, I'll see you in Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, in the meantime... I'm gonna equip this hammer. So, as you can see right here, you have your weapons, armor, and accessories. However, we don't have any armor or accessories yet, so... I will show those off later. Anyway, on to the Mushroom Kingdom we go. And uh, I'm going to call it a video there. So next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, we go into the castle. See you guys later.